confused about the closure property of rational numbers? Let's make it super simple. What's a rational number? A rational number is any number that can be written in the form a divided by b, where a and b are integers and b is not zero. Examples? 1 half, minus 3 fourths, 5, which is 5 over 1, and even 0, as 0 over 1. All of these are rational numbers. What are properties in math? Properties are just rules or patterns in math that always work the same way when you add, subtract, multiply, or divide numbers. There are five important properties in total. Today, we'll talk about the first one, the closure property. What is the closure property? The closure property says, if you take two numbers from a set, do an operation like addition, subtraction, or multiplication, and the result is still in that same set, then that set is said to be closed under that operation. Simple, right? Now, let's test this on rational numbers. Closure property examples for rational numbers. Addition example. 1 half plus 1 fourth equals 3 fourths. Both numbers are rational. The result is also rational. So, rational numbers are closed under addition. Subtraction example. 5 sixths minus 1 third equals 3 sixths equals 1 half. Still a rational number. So, rational numbers are closed under subtraction. Multiplication example. 2 thirds times 3 fourths equals 6 twelfths equals 1 half. Rational times rational equals rational. So, multiplication is also closed. Division, valid case. 3 fifths divided by 1 half equals 3 fifths times 2 over 1 equals 6 fifths. No problem dividing. The result is still rational. So, division can be closed, but not always. Division, invalid case. 4 sevenths divided by 0 is not defined. You can't divide by 0. That breaks the rule. Final conclusion. So, rational numbers are closed under addition, closed under subtraction, closed under multiplication, but not always closed under division, because division by 0 is not allowed. Now you get it. That's the closure property for rational numbers. Play, learn, and master maths only on Cleflearn.